Let's press some buttons and add custom keybinds to Minecraft. Alright, we found ourselves back in Tilted once more, and in this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom keybinds to Minecraft. Now, this is actually part of a four tutorial part series. So, this is the first part where we add literally just the keybind, and this is going to output something in the chat. That is all that's going to happen. Nothing more will be done in this tutorial. But the next tutorial, we're then going to be adding custom networking. And then we're going to be saving some data on the player. And then last but not least, we're also going to add a HUD element. So basically, the four-part tutorial series that we're going to embark on is adding a thirst system to your player. Now, the first thing I wanted to mention here is you can definitely work through it and you can create it. And this is going to serve as a good example on how you would create something like a thirst system. However, please do not use this particular system exactly in your mod. Reasons for this are plentiful, but just a few of them. Number one, this is just an example for you to understand how you would go about actually adding it. Not only is it actually lacking a lot of features that a proper thirst system should have, there also are things that actually don't quite work 100%. And especially if you're just copying over the code, you should not use this particular system. It is just for you to understand how to do all of those things, add keybinds, custom networking, how to save data on the player, and then also, last but not least, the custom HUD elements, but it should not be used in an actual mod. Please don't do this. I hope that that was enough of a disclaimer. I basically push away all responsibility if you're using it in an actual mod and the mod breaks, then you have to fix it. Whatever the case may be, that's enough of a disclaimer here. Let's start. So what we want is we want a new package in our tutorial mod package, and that's going to be called the event package. And inside of there, we're going to make a new Java class. And this is going to be the key input handler. Now, this is going to be very interesting. So this will actually have a few things, a few fields and two methods. First of all, we're going to have a public static final string. This is going to be the key category tutorial. So this is just going to be basically what our category is for our custom key bindings what it basically is going to be called. So we're going to call this key category dot tutorial. This is basically the translation key. The second key that we want is we want the key drink water. So basically we are going to have a drink water key. We're just going to call this key dot drink water. Now, if we want to be like absolutely certain that everything is going to be fine, we're actually want to add our tutorial mod mod ID as well. Let's just do this key dot category dot tutorial mod dot tutorial just in case and then we should be totally fine that those will not be taken. And then we're going to make a new custom keybind. So this is going to be a click static key binding from, and this is very important, net Minecraft client option. Make sure you choose the correct one, not the one from Java X Swing. So from client option right here, and this is going to be called the drinking key. And then we need two new methods. The first method is going to be the register key input. So this is going to be public static void register key inputs. And this is going to actually use a an event to register a particular key. So this is going to use the client tick events right here dot end client tick. So we're going to basically call this when a tick has ended. We're going to register this with a client. And you can see it already suggests to us this parameter here. And we're just going to add the curly brackets, the other curly bracket will generate automatically. And in theory here, what we would want to do is we want to check if the particular key binding is pressed. So we're going to say if drinking key dot was pressed, and then we want to do something. Now this happens when our custom key is pressed. All right, that's pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're literally just going to output something in the chat. We're going to get the player via this and we're just going to send a chat message over here. And we're just going to say, Hello, I pressed a key. Now, once again, this will be changed in the next tutorial when we actually implement some networking, some custom networking, then we're going to make a custom packet and we're going to actually send some data over and then we're going to do something a little bit different for the time being. We're going to keep it like this. Now, we also need a public static void register method and this is going to actually initialize the drinking key field over here. So we're going to say drinking key is going to be equal to the key binding helper. This one right here from client key binding version one. And we're going to say register key binds and we're going to make a new key binding. There you go. And then what do we need? Well, first of all, the parameters here for the new key bind are the first one is going to be the key drink water string. So this is going to be the name. So this is the translation key of the key binds name. Then we want to know 
what this is, what type of input this is. So we're going to say input util that, and we want to use key system. This is basically the type of key bind. This is going to be for the keyboard. And then of course, mouse is for the mouse should be fairly self-explanatory. Then we want the key code, the key code we're going to get through glfw.glfw underscore key underscore, and then whatever well, basically key we want. In our case, we're just going to use the O key, but the, you can of course change this. You can see, you know, you have plenty of other keys that you can choose over here. But like I said, we're going to choose the O key for the time being. And this is the type here, of course, also has to be key as he says, there you go. And then the last parameter is going to be the key category tutorial. So this is going to be the translation key of the category that we're going to register this under. And we're going to make a new category in this case. Now we also want to call the register key inputs right here. So that's very important that we call this method as well. And then the register method should be called in the tutorial mod client class right here. We're just going to call the key input handler dot register method right here. Now what's very important if you don't have the client class done yet, then create this, you know, make it implement the client mod initializer, and then very important, add it to your fabric mod JSON file right here under the client. That is extremely important, otherwise it will not work. So keep that in mind as well. All right, and last but not least, we also want to add the translation. So let's just copy that over over here. Nothing too crazy, right? Just this translation key that we've made right here, and then the key translation key right here. So this is the drink water key and the these are the tutorial mod keys, basically, or we can also say key bindings. I mean, whatever we basically want the, to call the category, we can also just call it tutorial mod, the name of our mod, whatever basically you want to do here. But that is pretty much all that we need to do once again to add a key bind. I want to stress this one more time. Next tutorial, we're going to be adding custom networking so that we can actually make something interesting happen instead of just sending a message over here. But for the time being, this is all that we're doing in this tutorial. So let's go into the game and see if it works. Or it finds us in Minecraft and let's just go into the options control menu to the key binds and at the very bottom we should find, there we go, the tutorial mod category with the drink water key being O. So this is a great sign and already shows that everything should be working fine. So now if we press the O key while in game, we should get a message sent by our own player. So let's see, there we go, hello, I pressed a key. So exactly how we would want this to happen. Let's just, you know, if we keep it pressed down, then you can see it should in theory output this every tick. So when you keep it pressed down, but overall that is pretty awesome. And that is pretty much how easy it is to add a custom key bind to Minecraft. And like I said, for the actual functionality, we'll need custom networking, which we're going to cover in the next video. So I hope to see you all there. So yeah.